We head into the holiday weekend. You know, we fire up the grills. We're getting ready to watch some fireworks, but we want to make sure that everybody feels inclusive. So we're putting that in focus for you here on the 4th. WMAR 2 News Megan Knight has more on the ways to make everybody feel comfortable and welcome this weekend. There are many ways to celebrate America's independence. Creating an inclusive space and um, can still be super fun. WMAR2 News is putting inclusive celebrations in focus so that everyone can enjoy the holiday. There are a couple things that I would recommend keeping in mind. For some, you know, fireworks and loud noises can be really intense, both visually and um, auditorily as well. People on the autism spectrum and people with post-traumatic stress disorder might have a harder time with traditional celebrations. If you're thinking of, you know, ways to involve those that may really not be um, interested in fireworks, things like glow sticks can be really fun. It can be something that just um, can really um, cause a lot of havoc to, to those who are suffering with PTSD, particularly uh, when they're um, going off unexpectedly. Talking to your friends and family, veterans and survivors of trauma about what to expect can be helpful and also understanding that everyone is different. Fireworks may be aversive or, you know, um, maybe overwhelming for some. They may really love them. Another thing that can be triggering just the, the large social gathering in itself, like when um, someone has experienced a trauma, particularly um, there's often views around safety that change. So feeling like the world's unsafe or being around people can be unsafe. Being mindful of things like foods that you're preparing. And just letting them know you are there to support them so everyone can have a safe and happy 4th of July. I'm Megan Knight for WMAR2 News.